Hi, my name is Daniel Porter and I'm the Science and Operations Officer with the National Weather Service in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Severe thunderstorms can happen any time of the year in any part of the country. Every year, severe storms are responsible for property damage, injuries, and even death. The National Weather Service defines a severe thunderstorm as having winds in excess of 58 miles per hour, hail at least one inch in diameter, and or having a tornado. While lightning and flooding are not included in the official definition of a severe thunderstorm, they are both dangerous hazards that often accompany severe thunderstorms. To protect yourself in times of severe weather, it is important to pay attention to the weather forecast. Most severe weather is forecast days in advance. However, forecasts do change, so it's important to stay weather aware and check for updates. Knowing the difference between a watch and a warning is vital to your safety. A severe thunderstorm watch is generally issued hours before storms are expected to develop. A watch does not mean that severe thunderstorms will occur, but it does mean that severe thunderstorms are possible as conditions are favorable for thunderstorm development. This is your notification that you need to stay aware and have a plan in place should severe thunderstorms develop. A severe thunderstorm warning is issued once a severe thunderstorm is occurring or is imminent. Once you receive a warning for your location, this is your notification that it is time to act and seek shelter. It is important to have a plan in place before severe weather occurs. First, have a way to receive warnings. A no weather radio will alert you when warnings are issued for your area even during a power outage. You can also receive wireless emergency alerts on your phone or tune in to local television or radio stations. Know what your plan is and how you will put it into action. Once a warning is issued or when lightning occurs, whichever occurs first, go inside. Seek shelter in a sturdy building or in your car. Do not touch metal if you're in your car. Avoid electrical appliances, running water, and stay away from windows. After the storm has passed, that doesn't mean the threat is over. Lightning can strike several miles away from a storm. Wait 30 minutes after the last lightning strike or rumble of thunder before going back outside. If driving, avoid flooded roadways. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Continue to pay attention to the weather forecast until the threat has ended. Staying weather aware of changing conditions and following preparedness tips will help you and your loved ones stay safe during a severe thunderstorm. Thanks for joining us.